Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I would be super happy if you would subscribe. And in today's video, I will show you how I cook my pancakes. I usually like adding cocoa powder and protein powder and I figured I have never really shown it in an extra video where it would be only the pancake recipe, so here I am. So if you want to know how I cook my pancakes, then please keep watching. Let's have a look at the ingredients. I use all-purpose flour, protein powder, chia seeds, baking powder, baking soda, oat drink or any non-dairy milk, cinnamon and cocoa powder. I will list all ingredients with the measurements in the description box. For the topping I like using fresh berries, for example blueberries and raspberries. Sometimes when they have nice strawberries I also like buying these for my pancakes. Coconut yogurt and agave syrup. When I don't have any fresh berries I like using blueberry jam with coconut yogurt. First I always mix the dry ingredients. So I always start with baking powder and baking soda, one teaspoon of each. And then I add one teaspoon of cinnamon, sometimes I add even more of cinnamon. Next, three tablespoons of chia seeds. Next, I always add about two tablespoons of protein powder. You can always use more. I always start with half a cup of all-purpose flour and add later more. And then I always add three tablespoons of cocoa powder. I mix all the dry ingredients well. Once that is done, I add four cups of oat drink or any non-dairy milk and three tablespoons agave syrup. After that, I mix all with a hand mixer and then I always start adding more flour. I keep mixing and adding flour until the batter reaches rather creamy consistency. This time I added one more cup of flour in total. And then I preheat a non-sticky pan and then I simply pour the batter in. I let it cook until the pancakes get tiny little bubbles on the top and even the top is almost cooked. And then I turn the pancakes and cook them shortly also on the other side. This is how my chocolate protein pancakes look like. You can of course always leave the cocoa out. The amount of pancake batter that I made today is good for two breakfasts for two people. I always let the half that we don't finish cool off and then I pack it in a Ziploc bag and freeze them for the next Sunday. Now to our today's breakfast. When I have fresh berries, I always like topping the pancakes with the yogurt first. And then I add the berries. I always kind of mix them up. And as a last step, I pour a bit of the agave syrup on the top. When I have only the blueberry jam and no berries, I start with a small amount of the jam first and then I add a bit of the coconut yogurt on the top. This is how I cook my pancakes. The protein powder that I'm using in my recipe is either a plain protein powder or vanilla protein powder or just like today I also sometimes like using chocolate protein powder. I think it would also taste great with peanut butter protein powder. I think it would be like wow. Anyway, I also like cooking sometimes pumpkin spice pancakes, but that's not an, a recipe that I created, so I will just link the recipe down below by the person who did. It was Katie Bradley. Definitely go and check out her channel because her recipes are awesome, especially all the pastry. Literally, anytime I'm watching her videos, I'm drooling. And if you're gonna watch her videos, tell her I said hi. Yeah, and that's it for today. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumb up. You can also share it. It really helps the channel. I would be very happy if you would subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. 
And don't forget to visit the description box because I always list there a lot of stuff like all of my Instagram accounts, any discount codes that I have for you guys, any music that I use in my videos, videos and playlists that might be interesting for you. And I always also list down below my DIY channel. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It means a lot to me and I love you guys so much. So see you next time with my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.